Hello guys, welcome to another video on Healthy Talkie YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about specific exercises you can use as natural diabetes treatments. Before we get started with the video, check the link in the description box below to discover the secret formula we recommend if you want to be free from high blood sugar. Quick advice, make sure you watch this video to the end to get the most value from it. Let's start with today's video without wasting too much of your time. Cause by cause analysis and specific steps to take. Diabetes during pregnancy. Diabetes is common during pregnancy, even in women who have never had symptoms of diabetes or who are a healthy weight. In these situations, gestational diabetes may come as a surprise. It's not clear why this is happening. But you should be on the lookout for diabetes if any of these apply to you. A history of diabetes in the family, being overweight during pregnancy, having given birth to overweight children before, having trouble giving birth to the last child. You should see a doctor right away if you have any of these high-risk signs. Regular exercise is important for pregnant women in general, and for diabetic pregnant women in particular. Kegel exercises help strengthen the pelvic floor by contracting and relaxing the muscles in the pelvic area. This helps people have better control of their bladders and strengthens the pelvic muscles, which tend to get weak after giving birth. Other common exercises for pregnant women are walking and aerobics. It's amazing that simple things like climbing stairs can be very good exercises. Women who exercise enough while they are pregnant are less likely to get diabetes and more likely to have a normal delivery. Obesity Obesity is one of the main things that leads to diabetes. Too much fat makes the body less sensitive to insulin. So, when obesity is popular, diabetes doesn't take long to follow. Along with walking, carrying things, but not so much that you get out of breath, will have a better response. This will lower high blood pressure and push the limits since it is possible and necessary for obese people to work out longer. Yoga as a workout for every type of diabetes. Yoga is more popular than swimming and jogging because it can be done by anyone. Swimming can be scary for pregnant women and diabetic neuropathy can make it hard to jog. Combat at source is the main idea behind yoga. The pancreatic cells get a boost from the yoga poses that help people with diabetes. The contractions and releases of the abdominal muscles act like massages for the abdomen and help keep a healthy supply of insulin. It's interesting to know that this is one way to treat type 1 diabetes, which is caused by insulin that doesn't work right or doesn't work at all. Meditation has also been shown to be a great way to keep your heart free of stress. It's important to note that exercise and meditation go hand in hand. When you work out while stressed, your body's chemicals get out of balance. So, meditation brings the mind to a calm state, and then an exercise routine comes next. If you're not sure how long to work out for, you can check your heart rate after as little as 15 minutes. If you feel any kind of pain in your back or neck, you shouldn't go any further. Talk to a doctor right away. Check the blood sugar levels every so often to see how things are going. It's important to not only exercise right, but also to eat right. This has two benefits. It helps fight obesity, which is a cause of diabetes, and a healthy, well-balanced diet keeps blood sugar levels in check on its own. A diet that is high in fiber and low in fat is very good for people with diabetes. There is more than just the number of calories you need to watch out for. It is the glycemic index. You can ask your doctor for a glycemic index food chart. A low glycemic index is a sign that a person with diabetes should eat well. Things to do before, after, and while you work out. Plan your exercise based on how your body is and what kind of diabetes you have. It is very important to keep in mind that working out is meant to make you feel better and more energetic all day. Any exercise that makes you feel like passing out and wants to take extra energy is bad. To be more specific, it is a poorly planned activity. Before you start any schedule, make sure you understand the following. 
1. The safety of your feet is the most important thing. Diabetics should not do exercises like jogging that put a lot of pressure on their feet. Diabetes weakens the nervous system, and exercises that put a lot of pressure on the feet will hurt them even more. Also, make sure there are no injuries to the feet. One of the main signs of diabetes is that wounds take a long time to heal and are easy to get sick from. So wear socks and shoes when you go out, and make sure to wear socks even when you work out inside. 2. Hyperglycemia is a condition in which the levels of sugar in the blood rise above what is safe. If your blood sugar level is very high, you should take medicine to bring it down and start exercising. When you have hyperglycemia, your muscles don't have enough sugar, so your body starts to use fat instead. Because of this, the level of ketones in the blood will rise, which can be seen in a test for ketonuria that looks at the urine. 3. Don't work out when you're sick. If you're sick and your legs hurt and feel sore, you shouldn't work out. This is because blood sugar levels change a lot during those times, and you don't want to get hypoglycemia or hyperglycemia. Any exercise plan should only begin when the blood sugar level is stable, high or low does not matter. 4. Don't drink too much water and don't do too much exercise. Hypoglycemia is more dangerous than high blood sugar because you can feel the effects right away. So, don't push yourself too far. When you work out, you will lose a lot of water. Be sure to have a bottle of water with you when you work out. It's important to drink water all the time because being dehydrated can make sugar levels rise. 5. Use an exercise meter to track your progress. This isn't just for numbers. It is to keep track of how much you exercise so that your doctor can look at your progress, suggest changes, and tell you what you should and shouldn't do. The main goal of exercise for diabetics is to keep their bodies healthy and active. So, if you only work out for 30 minutes a day and feel bad about how sedentary your life is, Break up your exercise schedule so that you do some kind of physical activity every hour or so. Workouts do not have to be done at a stretch. If you start to feel tired, do a few small stretches and eye exercises. Diabetic retinopathy is a problem with the eyes that hurts the retina's blood vessels. If you don't take it seriously, it could even cause you to go blind. But if you do eye exercises and see a doctor early on, you can definitely stop it from happening. Last, but not least, this may seem like a small thing. But having a workout partner will go a long way toward making sure you keep up with your workout plan in the long run. It's possible that your initial motivation to work out, which got you started, will slowly fade away, to the point where you'll stop working out altogether. But if you have a friend who is very determined and who has seen good results from exercise, that kind of motivation will show the procrastinator in you where to go. You can even ask your doctor for help in finding a mentor. A healthy body and a clear head can help you deal with any problem or strange thing. An exercise a day keeps diabetes away is a good thing to keep in mind. If you have tried all these tips and still suffering from high blood sugar, then check out the secret formula we recommend. This is an all-natural supplement that you can use to achieve your desired results and be free. It is easy to take, very effective, and highly recommended. Learn more about our secret formula from the link below this video in the description box and find out how it can help you to get rid of high blood sugar. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. The videos on your screen right now are also educative and informative, so make sure you watch them too. Leave a healthy life, stay strong.